What's up guys, Beagler Outdoors here. Today, what we're gonna talk about is my backpack gun. A lot of people these days are carrying uh, backpack guns because they're just, uh, I guess with the way that things are in the world today, it's good to protect yourself and you could, you know, you're able to do that via your second amendment. Um, what, we, what we're gonna go over today is uh, what I carry in my backpack gun, uh, things I carry. And this isn't, don't get it wrong, this isn't a bug out bag. It's kind of a, we got a situation, I got to grab my bag and get around my truck and outside of my truck. Um, with the intent to maybe get back into your truck, or if you had to abandon your truck uh, and walk home, which is the worst case scenario. But you know, we're hoping those kind of things don't happen. But uh, here we go. So what I carry is what I have right here. This is the Vertex Gamut. Okay, this is um, a, a book bag made specifically to carry a backpack gun. Uh, it's, it's, it's really good. It has very, very, very nice zippers on it. Um, I believe this one, I'll put the link in the description. I believe it was like 179, I believe, but it has a lot of features in it. So well, what we'll do first is we'll go over the pockets that they have, okay? So you got pockets on the side here. You got pockets on the side here. You got a big pocket in the front. And as you'll see with this pack, a lot of stuff is meant to quickly deploy things. You'll see in a minute. Um, you have a spot in the back, right here. And I'll show you the goodie that's in there when we get to it, all right? So uh, we have really, really, really good straps on the back. I mean, these things are badass, man. I mean, <clears throat> they're, they're, they're really strong. You know, when you're paying upwards of 150 for a backpack, you're getting top of the line. You know, unless you're hiking and you're buying like North Face or Marmot or something like that. But the, this book bag is, is really geared towards people who want to have tactical stuff on them, but not look tactical. This book bag doesn't look tactical at all. This book bag just kind of looks like, you know, I'm a college kid going to school and I got a bunch of books in my bag. Not that way. Uh, you got some stuff down here to put your passes if you want to look, I guess, mil <clears throat> military-ish or whatever the look is that the kids are going for now. Um, I like to keep this bag looking very discreet. If you see me walking with this bag right here, you're honestly just gonna say, hey, it's a guy with a book bag. All right, now we'll dig into the bag, all right? All right. What we have on this bag is in this first compartment right here, okay? And like I said, a lot of these are quick deploy. Quick deploy meaning you can go like this. See how quick I open that? All right. What I have in here, number one, I keep a trauma kit, okay? You wanna make sure you have a trauma kit. Cause remember, if, if you're carrying some kind of a gun, you're, you're in an area where you know there might be some kind of a conflict or whatever. Hopefully not, United States of America, we should all get along. Um, but sometimes that, that's not the case. Uh, and you know, I, I'm not gonna go over the trauma kit, because I'm actually taking courses online how to use everything in this trauma kit. But the main thing that you want, the main, main thing, if you're gonna buy anything, okay? Like, here's my trauma kit, all right? I got my hemostatic gauze. Um, the main thing you want is a tourniquet, all right? Shot in the arm, tourniquet. Shot in the leg, as many tourniquets as you could afford. Uh, I believe these are like uh, probably $20. You want to get as many as you could afford. You want to get a Cat 3. Um, it's a really good tourniquet. I'm not going to do a video on that because uh, I'm not a nurse or anyone to give you any kind of advice on how to use one. But, um, you know, it's pretty much my trauma kit. I'll give you a close-up of it. All right. And I have a lot of stuff for wound care. I mean, as in getting shot. Uh, things like that, okay? Now, when you buy your trauma kit, the next best thing you want to have is a pair of really, really good shears, scissors. Um, someone gets shot, you gotta cut their stuff real fast, and kick-ass scissors right here, man. This right here is a Leatherman Raptor, okay? Definitely would highly recommend it, all right? I'm not, you know, I could do a, a preview on it, but these are badass shears, all right? Uh, you know, if, if you're an EMT, you would know it has the oxygen bottle wrench on it right here. Uh, it has a, a quick cinch so you could rip people's clothes open. But this right here, 
you know, if you got to cut somebody's pants and they got shot, this is what you want. Now, most trauma kits come with shears, but they're worthless. Um, they'll do the job. Do the job. But these right here, I believe, were like uh, 80 bucks. Very good. Leatherman Raptor shears, okay? You want to make sure you have that. And that goes along with your trauma kit. I, would, I, I was going to put it on this trauma kit. I just don't want to pull through the bag so I have it on the side. But All right, so in this bag, we have our trauma kit. Okay? And we have our Leatherman shears in there. All right, and I also carry on the top... A four-way stem key okay uh, four-way stem key is just say if you got to get water from somewhere and if you ever notice if you've been to a hotel or somewhere they got these fancy faucets you can't turn on outside the hotel well a four-way stem key all right that will enable you to access their water so just say if you had a run and you needed some water you were dehydrated you go up to any hotel or any commercial building and use your four-way stem key You can use your four-way stem key to turn on their water to access water. All right, that's something I keep. You, you need one of those. I actually have uh, a couple of those. Okay, so that pretty much covers the front. Okay, and this right here expands, so you can put you know big stuff in there. But I keep that right in the front. And as you've seen uh, with the Gamut backpack, it has that quick deploy feature where you can literally just. Uh, Pull it and open it, okay? Now on the side pockets, okay, I always carry some hand sanitizer just to clean my hands. Uh, that's probably the only reason, just in case I get blood on my hands or something, all right? Uh, next thing I carry is a really good knife, okay? What I have here is a Gerber knife. Uh, actually, uh, my wife bought it for me for my birthday one year. Uh, it's a really good knife and skinning knife, okay? Uh, it's good to have a knife in general, uh, and it's good to have something to skin and to cut open just in case, you know, you never know. And it's razor sharp, okay? So we have that. Okay. Also in this side pocket, I keep a 24 round mag for my everyday carry pistol. Okay, let me get that to stand up if I can. Come on, stay there. Uh, she's not gonna stay. There's something behind her. There you go. Uh, I carry my 24 round mag. Uh, this is for my everyday carry pistol, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this aside here so we can look at it, but have a better view, okay? So in my everyday carry, as you can see in other videos, I will put uh, the video in the link up here. My everyday carry pistol is FN509, and I'll lay this down. And I carry my 24 round mag. You can see, clear. Uh, I carry an extra 24 round mag. Uh, and then what basically we do is put um, my other mag in there. And this holster, I'll put a link up here to the holster I use for the FM509. I'm not gonna get into it, that's a whole other video. But, so, and I also carry, actually carry two of these in my pack. I carry two 24 rounds. So I carry one quick in the front, just so if I gotta reach my book bag and grab it out, I can pull it right out, okay? Now, we have side pockets here, okay? So what we'll do is open up a side pocket so we carry there. In these side pockets here, as you can see, they have a little zipper that comes down. I got lighter matches, pretty much all I have in that pocket for now, okay? Uh, you wanna have lighters and matches, just in case you have to, you're stuck and you gotta start a fire, good to have it. What I keep here, a 20 round mag for my carry backpack gun, okay? I got one 20 round mag here. All right. Then if you flip it over to the other side. In here, I usually carry a bottle of water. I don't have one now, but I always have a bottle of water in case you have to walk and you start to drink and you need to be hydrated, okay? Uh, what I have here, another uh, 24 rounder. 
and my other 20 rounder for my backpack gun. Okay, we'll get into that when I get to the other side of the pack. All right, now, uh, I do carry a flashlight, I carry a stream light. I believe it's 100 lumens. Uh, no, I believe it's 1,000 lumens. This is actually, uh, I don't know, I think it's 1,000 lumens. Uh, it's, a pro t it's a stream light, very, li very bright. Uh, think about this stream light. Uh, I, might do a, I might do a review on it, but you could put three kind of batteries. You could put a double A, a triple A, or the 231 in it. So it's a really good prepper light. But I carry that right here, okay? And you could also put it in the low mode and your flash mode and stuff like that. But I carry a flashlight. You need a flashlight. And just if you break down the side of the road, when I have multiple flashlights. I carry multiple flashlights. But flashlight here, okay? Now, there is a spot here, okay? And when you open this, it comes down. All right. And what I carry in here, all right, I have a halo chest seal. Okay. Chest seal is you get shot, you get shot in the leg, you peel this out, you can put it right on top to stop the bleeding. It just covers up your wound. Chest seals are good to have, man. They're like 15 bucks each. It's good to have a couple of chest seals. You might need them, people around you, okay? Uh, that's what I keep in here. I just keep check. What's that? We'll get to that in a minute. That's kind of fun right there. Um, keep chest seals in there. Or you can keep documents in there. Whatever you need to keep in there, okay? We'll close that up. All right. Now what we're going to do is go into the meat and potatoes of the bag. Oh, actually, we got a top. Right here, we have our top compartment. What I keep in the top compartment... Solar powered cell phone charger, okay? I think I paid about $21 for this on Amazon, and this thing will charge my phone fully, real quick, three times. It's charged my iPad up twice, okay? Um, I mean, if you wanna talk about how good the solar is, eh, just keep it charged. It's good to have, so if your phone dies, you can charge up your phone with these two, with one of these, okay? I do always keep some power cord. Never know when you gotta tie something, right? I also keep a battery for the light on my EDC. In case that goes out, I have a light. I also carry two batteries for the Trigicon RMR, okay? So I carry that stuff in here, and here's your USB cables, because without this stuff, USB cables, garbage. But uh, this also has a Q charger on it. So basically, you want to charge your phone, you could just put it on like that, and it'll charge your phone through the cordless charging. And it also can charge itself through the solar. Pull that stuff back. All right, now we'll get to the center, okay? Now, um, it does have a quick pull on it, so, but you have these to stop your quick pull, because you gotta think, if you have your gun in here, and someone comes behind you and tries to quick pull it, all right, it has these stoppers on it, okay? So no one can quick pull it, but when you release the stoppers, right here, all right, you open this up, and it opens up fully, okay? Uh, before we get to the actual backpack gun, we'll get to what else we have in here, okay? So, you have these compartments here. All right, they're like a web compartment. They're, it's not web, it's just a cool material. And what we have in here, in our top compartment, compass. You always wanna keep a compass. And honestly, the digital compasses are fine, an old school bubble compass. This is actually a Boy Scout compass from when I was getting scouts. Okay, and it also does have room for pens, lights, whatever you want to put in your room up top for that also, okay? Down here, I keep, I keep my saw, all right? Little hand saw, little Gerber hand saw. That's in case you got to make a fire, got to cut some wood. Always keep a little Gerber hand saw with you, okay? All right. Also what I have in here, 
is a spoon. The CRKT spoon. In case you gotta eat. It's got can openers. It's got openers for things on top. And I have this, okay? This is called a bulker tool. All right, let me get closer. It's a bulker tool. It's made by bulker. All right, it has a pry bar on it. Glass breaker. Really good tool. If you gotta pry stuff, Volker tool is a really good tool to use, okay? I, I keep those things in here, all right? So you have something to breach if you have to, uh, break a window if you had to, worst case scenario, you gotta get out of your vehicle. You got something to cut up wood, you got fire to start wood, you got stuff to drink to stay hydrated. If you don't got water, you got that key to go get water from somewhere, okay? I carry cuffs. These are handmade cuffs I made, okay? I made them out of zip ties in case I have to restrain somebody. Because the, the last resort is shooting somebody. It's always the last resort, man. Violence is the last resort. But the last resort is to cuff somebody. If you get somebody down, you just cuff them. Pull these together, they're not breaking these off. Until somebody comes with a knife, they're not breaking these off. I always carry one or two of these. I carry one in my vehicle, one in the bag, all right? Now, uh, we'll get to the backpack gun. So you have a spot in here to hold your gun. All right, what we have here is my backpack gun, okay? It is an AR-9. It's an AR-15 platform. AR lower, uh, a nine millimeter upper, okay? Trigicon optics, all right? We have Magpul co-witnesses. Have an SLR linear comp, all right? We have a maximum defense CQB stock, all right? And that all, it's a real small, you're not supposed, this is, this is actually a brace, so it's supposed to be braced, but it, you know, you can hold it right here, it's real small. Uh, if you want to put it out further, it's real small. If you need to get it on your cheek, uh, technically by law, you're not allowed to brace. Um, you're not allowed to shoulder um, a brace. It's meant to be braced on your arm. Whole different video, not getting in there, to showing you the gun, all right? And, you know, like I said, this is the AR-9, and we have another, another, you know, 20 millimeter, uh, 20 millimeter. And those are our bullets right there. Those sure do look yummy. Uh, those are Lehigh Defense Max Penetrators. Uh, I'll try to find that and put a link in the bottom of that if I remember. This right here is the Endo Mag. So basically, this is an AR-15. You have your AR lower, okay? And you have your upper. And anybody who knows anything about AR-15s, whatever upper you put on it is whatever gun it's gonna be if it's in the AR-15 platform, this AR-10 platform. But this is a small a small gun, I think it weighs seven pounds. This is my backpack gun, okay? Got the Trigicon RMR on it, it's very small. You know, I can hold it, and if I have to go into any kind of defense, see, with the handgun, I feel comfortable at, you know, 30 yards. With this, I feel comfortable at 60 to 70 yards, okay? This I have more, it's more stable. But um, th that is the backpack gun, all right? So we'll put that bad boy right there okay now what we do have I need to get to the other compartment let me get some other compartment so in the back compartment all right let me just close this up so it's not all flopping around okay let me go back to my back compartment because I'm pretty sure it's where I missed where is it um, Go to the back compartment. We have something special in the back compartment. All right, so if we open this back up again, okay. Open this back up again. All right. What we have in here is a, I believe it's a defense armor plate. Actually, this is Defender Armor Plate, okay? It is a, a level 3A plate, okay? And honestly, it's made of a lightweight material. It's made of levers, levels of Kevlar, but uh, it could take level 3A. And if you look at level 3A, you'll know that uh, uh, any, any handgun, any handgun, uh, it will take rifle, rifle rounds, 
uh, you know, obviously it's not going to take a 308 to point blank range. But the good thing about this, it's very light. I mean, I mean, look at it. It's 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 ridiculously light. It's a couple of ounces. I mean, it's, it's if I had to weigh it, it's almost the weight of my holster. So, you know, but I carry that in there. And the reason the reason why you carry this, and I'll put a link to um, the Defender Armor plate. This plate is made specifically cut to fit in the Vortex Gamut backpack. They actually make one cut for the Outlander. They make them cut for different backpacks. They make them cut different sizes. These are also good to put in your kids' book bags. Man, they go to school. You know, you can get a soft armor too that's flexible. But I don't. I'm not too keen on the soft armor. But the soft armor is pretty cool to throw in your kids' book bags and stuff. But, um, Defender armor, and what you do is just slot right here, and it's made to fit, okay, exactly in that slot, all right, now, get you to get her in there, it's a real tight fit, but she's definitely made to go in there, okay, and the good thing about it is, you know, I'll put my chest seal back in here. If you're, if you're running somewhere and someone shoots you, you're gonna hit this and this plate is gonna stop it from going into you. And another good thing that Vortex does, Vortex puts this hand through here. So number one, if you're traveling, you can put it you know, on your luggage, but also you can hold this thing like a shield. People are firing at you, you can hold it as a shield, okay? A lot of people, if you're getting into a firefight, all right, you can wear it backwards, okay? As a shield, you can wear it backwards as a shield. Bulletproof, it's gonna protect you, okay? So, that's pretty much it for the Gamut backpack. It's made of really good materials. This is not a cheap backpack. If you're looking for a cheap backpack, you can get an $80 one, which, you know, all backpacks are good, but if you want something that's gonna last, I did a lot of research, man. The Vortex, it, it, it's got to be hands down, it's got to be hands down one of the best packs you could buy, okay? And like I said, it has the it has the quick release, so just say if you're in your car, all right, it has this little tab right here. You're in your car, just pull that, opens right up, and you can get right to your gun, okay? And the gun fits right in there. All right, and this gun is 18 inches. So if you had a 20 inch pistol, you know, it probably fit. And also what I do is I leave, I, I leave my everyday carry in there too, okay, if I want to. But this is usually on me or it's on a seat next to me, but you can put that in there too. So you gotta realize you have this gun, you got something ready. You are ready. I mean, this, this bag, you are ready, okay? And you know, that's pretty much it for the bag. Any other questions, let me know. But like I said, it also has a it has a pull through here if you want to put a, a camel back in there and put it in there. I, to me, this really isn't a bug out bag. It's just kind of a, oh man, I need to grab my bag and do I possibly have to leave my truck? Do I possibly got to protect my truck? Do I possibly have to walk home? Okay, that's what that bag is. Another thing I would recommend carrying, which I do carry on my bag, is a ham radio. Okay. Uh, with ham radio, the laws are you have to be a licensed operator to use a ham radio. I don't condone anyone who uses a ham radio without a license. Okay, I am a licensed ham radio operator. Okay, and these are good because you know, well, if, if the grid goes down, it's gonna suck. But you know, you got these, you could talk to person close to close. If repeaters are still running on generators, you can hit a repeater and possibly hit your house if you know how to. Uh, it's a whole different story, a whole different class. Took me a while to do that. I am a licensed ham operator, and good stuff. This is actually a, um, an Anytone. Uh, it's a DMR, so it does digital and regular. But, you know, that's pretty much what I carry in my backpack. When I get in my truck, I actually have two packs. I got one quick over-shoulder carry pack that has my wallet, another first aid kit in it, you know, and just little things. I need to carry into stores, go around the stores and buy stuff, and it has a knife in it because I need to cut something. But if I'm gonna have to leave my truck, I'm probably gonna dump the crap that's in that little bag into this and take this whole bag. 
and haul ass. And, you know, you want to make sure you have a lot of things. A lot of people say, carry this, carry that, carry this. And I'm not talking about an end of the world situation. I'm talking about if for some reason someone's in front of your truck, your truck's surrounded, you have to get out of your truck. You have to protect your truck. Um, like I said, violence is always a last ditch resort, any kind of violence, hand violence, gun violence, but you have to protect yourself because there are other people who do not care that that is a last ditch resort. There are other people who have different ideas of when violence should be used. But that's just a whole new video. And like I said, I am not a political channel. I'm not going to get into it. I stay far away from politics. You know, everyone knows from what you see here, what my political view is. But, um... That's the pack, man. And I will have a link in the description in the bottom of the Vortex Gamut backpack. I will have a link in the bottom for the Defender Armor uh, and any other stuff, uh, if I could find a CB or stuff like that. The gun, I custom built the gun, so I can't put a link in the bottom for that. Everything on this gun is custom built from the ground up. Uh, you know, like I said, it, it's, it, it's a backpack gun. It's, it's actually a pistol, all right? It's, it's something to carry real quick, but the video's not about this, but honestly, it kind of is because it's your backpack gun for your backpack uh, once again thank you guys for watching like and subscribe and hit that hit that thumbs up button man I mean smash that thumbs up button when you smash that thumbs up button right now a lot of things are uh, I'll watch my wording videos are being moved around so your eyes are only on certain things and they're trying to put in stuff that you're not they don't want you to see on the side so when you hit that like button it pushes us to the top and people get to see this stuff if not, the stuff is hidden. It's hidden in the archives. So hitting that like button does a lot, man, for the algorithm. It puts you in the algorithm, and then it lets you see my video, and you get to see other videos just like it. So it's not about me. It's about bringing everyone in the YouTube community who does videos like this up front. Also, subscribe. When you subscribe, honestly, when I see a new subscriber, it makes you want to make new videos, man. I see, oh man, someone really likes to watch my channel. You know, I'm not a big channel. We have 480, maybe 480 um, subscribers. Goal this year is to get to 1,000. It's a goal. So I'm gonna try to put out my one video a week. I'm gonna try to get on a schedule. I gotta kind of figure out what's gonna work for schedule wise. You know, I've been trying to do one every Thursday and every, you know and every Sunday. It just it all depends on schedule I can get on. Like I said, all links to the videos will be floating around the tops like I told you were gonna be. Um, and that's pretty much it. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, man. I really do appreciate people that watch. I appreciate the comments, man. You know, it does mean a lot to me. Alright? Thanks again. Beagle of Bass Fishing, out.